Hello, everyone. Firstly, we would like to thank the organizers of ECB 2022 for giving us this opportunity. We feel really honored and proud to participate in this report. Yeah, and our topic today is parent perception of language disorder in children in Tenacity, Vietnam in 2022. And my name is Lucy Phan Phuong. I'm uh, who is supervisor of this research. And um, today I will represent for our team uh, to share with everybody the information of this research. Uh, and you know, our research team consists of three bachelor of speech and language therapy, the one we can find in both of it and in the researchers have carried out this topic uh, um, last year and um, they worked uh, under the guidance of the teachers of rehabilitation department of the Nam University. Um, uh, of medicine and pharmacy and English, a uh, master of speech and, and language therapy. Um, Lundi Gapong is about me, is a main instructor. And the members of our research team uh, uh, is actually the first to have a bachelor, the first people to have a bachelor's and master's degree in this field in Vietnam until now. So uh, let me uh, say uh, about all of you. So, you know, speech and language therapy is a new occupation in Vietnam. And community awareness of this view is still very limited, especially for parents who have a seeking uh, intervention service for language disorder in children. They face challenges uh, quite are out and describing their child symptom and finding the most accurate intervention. However, the term mm, due to this language disorder are not universal and it is not possible to see the impairments the child is experiencing due to the invisible state of the disorder. And besides that, uh, according to the research of Dr. Pian in 2019, the rate of children with language disorder in Vietnam is about 7%. And currently, the study in Vietnam focused on identifying the atypical features in the children with developmental language disorder. However, for research uh, related to um, the perception of parents of children with language disorder, it has not yet, uh, had not yet been implemented. Uh, that's the reason why our research um, team um, gave the question, what is parents' awareness of parents about language disorder in their children in the and city? Um, and that's, uh, that's the, the uh, you know, uh, that's the, uh, exactly the object research uh, of our research. Uh, uh, find out how parents perceive language disorder in their children. And this study used the general qualitative descriptive study um, uh, methods. Yeah, and um, this research, uh, you know, were generated based on certain structured interview with 15 parents of children who receive a speech and language therapy service. And we conducted this research um, during the COVID-19 pandemic. So we had a problem with sampling. We conducted 
um, convenience assembly in each hospital. Therefore, in some place we got three sample, in some place we got seven sample. But all must meet the criteria that we set out satisfied. Uh, the children has been diagnosed with language disorder, and the children under six years old and uh, are being um, and, and they are be, being intervened at the above location. And uh, we, uh, in terms of the data collection method, we uh, use a telephone interview. So about the data analysis, we apply the inductive content analysis. So after we uh, we have a three stage to uh, data and to the analysis the data. So uh, based on the transcript of the interview, the responses were arranged in the order they corresponded to the questions and uploaded to an online Google play and then copyright copy into the Excel sheet for analysis. The qualitative data were read and reread by the principal investigators several times and scientists units were coded were coded uh, for is questioned in its interview. The research team also cite the informant answer to investigate the question out. And finally, the data is uh, rearranged to ensure a close connection between session and connect content in the survey report. The, and the specific responses are sorted by group of variables that match the previously identified research question. And um, absolutely, uh, our research to ensure the reachers of research methods according to the research of Tom um, Sanbury and Ray in uh, 2007, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me say about the result, result of the research. Firstly, we recommend about um, the child territories of research participants. And um, now uh, look, look at the two table on the research, uh, about the research, yeah. So you can see all the parents who have never participated in any research related to the speech therapy participated in this study after being uh, in, introduced to study through specialists at the hospital and all the parents are people living in China city and they are a mon monolingual Vietnamese speaker. Uh, the parents participating in the study represented a wide variety of age group, and all students in the study received evaluation and intervention at the hospital, including um, 12 children who had been uh, go to uh, when uh, you know has been attend attended in the garden uh, and three children have to not attend it. Yeah. And in terms of the parents' reception of language disorder, so you can see the transcript in the cloud on the slide. Yeah. And you know, most parents recognize their children's problem when they compare uh, their child with their peers. Yeah. Um, when they uh, consult 
uh, the people around them and read the article online or access the internet. They face with the obstacle because of the pandemic, um, you know, COVID-19, uh, external influences and different thinking between generations. So they delay talking their children to the doc doctor, like the transcription on the slide. Yeah, and next uh, about uh, parents' understanding of speech therapy survey. Most of parents do not do not know the official name of speech therapy survey. So they they you know struggle to find struggle to find it and sometimes they did not take their child to the right specialized for examination, even they compared to another field of related rehabilitation group, yeah, like physical therapy or occupational therapy, yeah, like uh, the transcription uh, of the answer already signed on the slide. So we get into the parents' understanding of language disorders. Most of parents don't didn't understand um, their child problem through diagnosis. They reported they don't understand what happened with they uh, with they uh, their the child, and they they um, they reported no further counseling and training on the problem their child were having for home uh, therapy, yeah, like the trans transcription of the answer on the slide. Yeah, and finally, the conclusion of uh, our research uh, 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 illustrates that the parents detect, they detect problems early in their children, but there is a delay in bringing their children to the intervention service due to obstructive reason. And uh, maybe the crucial reason is the, you know, the, the community of um, uh, awareness, where awareness is very limited. And most of parents find difficulties in the daily life, uh, daily life of their children and family. And uh, the recommendation for everybody uh, in internet city, so we can build up, develop initial consulting program on the speech uh, on on the um, language disorder for parents through uh, SLPs uh, who are directly treating children at the hospital and at home. Yeah, and um, uh, this, uh, you know, this is the first time we conducted the, the study, a uh, qualitative study in the city related to the speech sound disorder, uh, related, sorry, uh, related to um, language disorder. So uh, the limitation of the study are only limited um, to the next city, not generalized for Vietnam. But this is great start for upcoming studies on qualitative research in the field of speech and language therapy in Vietnam. So uh, that is the last uh, uh, slide, and that's the end of the report, uh, the presentation uh, here. Yeah, and thank you for your listening. And uh, this is my email. And uh, if you have some questions, um, don't hesitate to contact with me. Thank you so much.